Well, Bob, we, again, like every day we've been hearing around that 5 o'clock rumble right. of thunder, and yeah. some areas worse than others. A little earlier today, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, 3 o'clock uh, down in Englewood, also okay. in Northport and Port Charlotte. Uh, tomorrow, and not as many storms as some drier air is going to move into the mid-levels of the atmosphere. So a little bit different each and every day, but still those afternoon storms have been around for the past three days, and that has cooled things down quite nicely in the evening and has uh, also created some beautiful shots sent in to pics at mysuncoast.com. This one from Venice Beach. Susan getting this and sending it in to PIX at mysuncoast.com. And a beautiful shot here from Anna Maria looking further off to the north. And this is at Bimini Bay. And you can see the waves kicking up there a little bit as some storms approach. But then skies cleared out for the most part right at the end, causing another nice sunset here along the sun coast. And Titan radar picture showing most of the activity now well to the north and west of us as it continues to move away from the coast and dissipate out there in the Gulf of Mexico. A few showers still uh, near the Big Bend area and just north of uh, Tampa Bay, Spring Hill getting some rainfall. And then uh, south of Sanibel, a few showers down there as well, pushing off to the west. Rainfall totals were pretty impressive in some areas. I mentioned in Inglewood up to uh, nearly two inches of rain. Uh, there and as well as the places to the east of I-75. 78 right now. The dew point is at 73. And that's fairly typical for this time of year. Last week and the week prior to that, we had those high dew points in the upper 70s. That makes a really big difference when it feels like temperatures into the upper 80s to low 90s at this hour. So not a problem right now. 93, the high today, above average of 90. The record high, 96, set back in 1964. And as far as the rainfall goes, really had two hundredths of an inch of rain at the Sarasota Bridge. Airport this evening uh, just after they uh, dumped the rain bucket there. 75 degrees in Jacksonville, now 78 in Orlando and 84 in Miami, 85 degrees into Key West and temperatures around the area all into the upper 70s to low 80s right now. 77 in Punta Gorda, 79 Mayaca City and 80 degrees in Avon Park, the same in Bradenton. Well, you can see the Caribbean pretty quiet, void of any kind of significant storm system right now. We have an upper level low spinning right here, and it is starting to bring some of this drier air into South Florida. This will entrain into our area, I think, tomorrow afternoon. So we'll still see some storms uh, late in the afternoon. It looks like in the evening, some of those could be isolated to, to strong storms. But uh, for the most part, not as many as we've had over the past couple of days. And then really, if this holds together and moves in this dry air, uh, by Monday and Tuesday, our rain chances will lessen uh, even a little bit more so, I think. As far as the future cast goes, we start off with sunshine tomorrow and then a few isolated showers and storms popping up and pushing on through. And then it looks like a Saturday, similar conditions, although still a little bit of dry air around, but a little bit more moisture than we'll see on Friday. So showers and storms will be in the forecast uh, on through Sunday as well. Uh, for temperatures right now, it's pretty warm in Philadelphia, 85 degrees there, uh, 78 now in New York, 87 in Salt Lake City, and 63 at Bismarck and Dallas now at 88, 107 still at this hour into Phoenix and Atlanta now checking in at 83 degrees. Well, for boaters, things check in like this. Winds out of the southeast to south at 5 to 10 knots. And then seas will still stay around 2 feet or less with a light chop of the bays and inland waters. The water temperature has gone down 1 degree. It's at 89 degrees. And the forecast looks like this for the remainder of the night. And tides upcoming, 242. And that's a low tide. High tide will be at 842. The forecast, a few evening storms out in the Gulf winding down. Low temperatures, mid-70s. And then for tomorrow, look for... Not as many storms due to that mid-level drying, but still will be a few around. It's hard to stop storms this time of year when you get a little southeast flow. And then the extended forecast is calling for less of a chance for rain on Monday and Tuesday. There'll still be a few around over the weekend. High temperatures staying in the low 90s.